Hi, I'm Hunter Frank. And I'm Jessica Wood. Welcome to another amazing edition of Waterloo School Student News East High Edition. Pretty cool when the Winter Olympics are going on that one of our own Waterloo Middle Schoolers is seeing extreme sports live in person. Check out scenes from the BMX show at Central highlighting a drug-free life. One. You know, Jessica, it's pretty cool that an African-American heritage is being celebrated in one of our own Waterloo elementary schools. Our very own. Check out some highlights from the event at Kittrell. The importance behind Black History Month is basically to showcase the different African-Americans that actually did some discovery, uh, some inventions, uh, just, just honoring them and making sure that we do not forget our past so that we can prepare our future. We're honoring people that changed history and changed the future. Well, today I'll, I'll be the MC and then my class will be doing something about Langston Hughes. I am going to be doing a dance with some other fifth graders, like a group of us are going to dance to Aretha Franklin's one of her hits, um, Respect. I'm going to do an African dance that we practice for three weeks. person would be Ruby Bridges because she wasn't afraid of what the people had to say about her and she was standing up for something she thought was right. Ruby Bridges never gave up. Brave, smart, honest, thoughtful. It makes me feel happy just trying, just honoring people back in the past who did things for us. They changed everything so black and white people can go to the same school together. To me it means like honoring the people that made a difference, whoever made this month, I thank them. Well, it makes me feel happy because we're thanking the people that made today a better today and how that they made something out of themselves instead of just existing like everybody else and that we're just giving them a simple thank you because everybody that does something great deserves a thank you. Central Middle School has its own newspaper, so let's go behind the scenes at their school to see what it takes to publish it. I like that I can be creative in my writing and use like bigger words. It's just something fun to talk about with all the students. The student newspaper uh, called Nightly News is our student-run newspaper here at Central. It's something that we just started this school year. I facilitate the students' work, but it's pretty much entirely run by the students. They select the topics, they do the, the research and the writing of the articles, they take the photographs, the editing. We even have a website devoted to the school newspaper that they uh, have programmed and run as well. Uh, so it's entirely, entirely done by the class. It's EOP and English 9. The jobs are switched around. Like last week, or last article, I was an editor. It's something different to do other than like writing and like, just learning, listening to the teacher. We get to actually do our own thing and write about what we want to write about. You get to share it with other people and not just have to write about it and get a grade on it. It's like really interesting because we didn't have this opportunity before. It's like first time. I go to different students and try and figure out what they want to hear about. A lot of the students are really cooperative trying to get everything done and understanding that some of the, this is the information that we need. We do reviews and articles on things that interest the students. 
and we have a teacher feature every week so we interview teachers. We got to pick a teacher that we liked and then we just asked some questions. I like taking pictures. I like editing. I like pictures. You get to go to the event and then take pictures also. I like learning about things that we perhaps wouldn't. It's teaching us to be responsible. A world in motion is underway at one of our own elementary schools. To learn more about it, let's go inside Lou Henry's fifth grade. Today we are studying a world in motion. It's a challenge, a design challenge called the Jet Toy. So right now they are creating a toy for a fictitious company called the Earth Toy Company. And their challenge is to make sure that they make a toy that's fun, that can go far and um, fast. The first phase is making sure that it will go straight. This phase is seeing um, if it will work with a, the balloon power on it and see how fast it will go and the distance. The first thing the kids had to do was build their chassis, which is the bottom, and they had to make sure that their axles and their wheels, that everything's aligned. And the reason that is is because when they then connect their jet power, which is the balloon, um, if it doesn't roll straight immediately, then that, that engine just kind of magnifies the problem. It's a good question. What's making your toy go right now? The balloon. The balloon. So do you think the air in the balloon? It, it doesn't go super far, so we might think it's the tube. So we're going to test the 5 sixteenths. Basically, what we figured out is that the bigger the balloon and the smaller the tube, um, it went farther because less air comes out of it at a time when it has a smaller tube. I think just that learning community. They have a small group of two or three students and they don't typically get to do big things like this. They enjoy learning and talking and that discovery, that aha moment. Yes, it went straight, but now let's talk about why. Why did it go straight? And so then that science part comes through and they get to shine in a way that some of them maybe have not shined before. The Waterloo Schools Foundation is taking private donations in enhancing, sorry, the educational experience for our students. Joining us to talk about how it works and explain why business partnerships are so important to make it happen, let's welcome Britt Young and Dennis Schilling. Hi. Hello, thanks for having us. So, Britt, what, what's your title and what exactly do you do? Well, I am the executive director of the Waterloo Schools Foundation, so I help build relationships between the community and the schools so that way we can provide extra programs for all of our kids in pre-K through 12th grade. All right, now Dennis, so what's, you're a businessman, what do you like to bring to the table to Waterloo Community Schools? I'm the quality manager at Power Engineering and Manufacturing in Waterloo. Um, I graduated from Waterloo, or from Waterloo East High School. All right. Uh, grew up in Waterloo, so I went to all Waterloo schools. Um, and um, I'm trying to get more involved, um, and Brittany is, is help, helping that happen, uh, to uh, promote uh, business, and interest in, in industry and uh, manufacturing and engineering uh, with the kids in school here in Waterloo. So um, some people might ask, like, how does um, your business tie into the students and how do they get involved? Or you can tell us more about your company. Or Sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we're, we're trying to get more involved. Um, at Power Engineering, we make uh, large, uh, heavy-duty gearboxes for, uh, for industries all around the world. Uh, most of those industries um, are like uh, oil drilling or uh, um, earth moving, uh, anything heavy duty machinery uh, that requires a lot of power, right? So we make the gearboxes for those. So we don't really, I was just telling Britt earlier, we don't sell product here within Waterloo. So a lot of people don't know about us, but we do employ a lot of people here in Waterloo. Uh, so, uh, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get out into the community and, um, and work with the schools so that the schools, the kids in school, understand the type of jobs that they can get um, at Power Engineering. It's important for us at the foundation, we want our students to know all the opportunities they have uh, after they graduate. We want them to know that before they graduate. So that way they're motivated to get involved, go on business tours, yeah. which is something power engineering and manufacturing can do, yeah. um, talk to them about the skills you need in a great job, and also then talk to us. If there's something that's gonna prevent you from making that goal happen, then sometimes we offer grants and awards and we can help get you on the right path to, to getting ready for that job. Yeah, 
So do you guys offer scholarships for any kids who are like interested in getting into those kind of we offer what's called the Young Scholars Awards, and so if there's a student that, for example, wants to take, um, you know, East and West, and both offer concurrent enrollment classes with Hawkeye Community College. So mm -hmm. they have a lot of classes that would be good to take if you were thinking about working at um, PEM after graduation. And let's say someone wanted to um, do that, but they wanted um, to get help with buying the steel-toed shoes that you might need mm -hmm. to do that or some of the tools and that's where I come into play we start talking and I can help make that happen mm -hmm. so. all right Dennis so how would someone like myself fellow student uh, personally get involved um, in your business without necessarily getting a job but if I'm interested you guys offer internships stuff like that yes yes we do um, <clears throat> we uh, we welcome uh, tours we welcome uh, students to come out to power engineering and uh, we, we offer shadowing where we have students come out and actually work next to somebody uh, at Power Engineering for the day or part of a day. Mm -hmm. um, and we've even had kids uh, leave school and come shadow with someone at work uh, for a part of the day and then go back to school. A lot of it's some really interesting, interesting stuff. And then we actually take them out into the plant and uh, we'll, we'll walk them around the plant and show them where the parts are actually being made. Um, so that the students can actually see that we've designed it and then the designs after they've been approved get put out on the floor and then the, um, out on the floor they're actually being made. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming out and uh, doing Thanks. this interview with us. Um, it was great yeah, having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate we appreciate it. it. Well, as you guys know, um, there are multiple ways to get involved uh, in our community and with jobs. If you guys want more information, uh, get a hold of Dennis or PEM. Uh, go on a tour. It's great. Uh, stuff like this is happening all over our community, and we want you guys to get involved. This has been another great edition of WSSN East High Edition. I'm Hunter. I'm Jessica Boyd. Have a great day, and... Have a great day.